Pistachio Harvesting Machine – Awesome Pistachio Farming and Processing Pistachios grow in grape-like clusters on the tree, with each cluster containing between 30 and 50 nuts. The pistachio tree is a large, bushy, deciduous tree with one or more trunks that develop slowly to a height and spread of 25 to 30 feet. For the fruit to grow, they need both male and female trees, as well as wind to disperse the pollen. Pistachio trees can thrive and produce for generations under good conditions. Pistachios are a type of nut with high economic efficiency. Pistachios are perennial trees that can live for up to 300 years. It's made of iron, and Iran was historically the top exporter, but America is currently the leading country. The kernels are commonly consumed whole, either fresh or roasted and salted, and they're also used in pistachio ice cream. With so many advantages, let's watch how it grows. Pistachio trees are desert natives. It's appropriate for dry areas with high ground temperatures. Seedlings will be prepared ahead of time by planting grafted seeds. Drip irrigation is used for tiny trees, the tree takes 7 to 10 years to reach significant production, but with modern care and grafting technology, this time has been reduced. The tree begins to produce nuts in the third year, and the harvest stabilizes in the fifth year. Pistachio is a little picky regarding its climate requirements. Pistachio trees flourish in climates with hot summers and mild winters. When it comes to climate requirements, pistachio is a little picky. Pistachio trees grow best in locations with long, hot summers, over 38 degrees Celsius, and mild winters. Pistachio trees, in general, require specific hours of cooling to break the dormancy of the bud. The length of the chill time varies depending on the variety. Before you begin planting, specific soil analyses and rigorous preparation are required. Clay content, depth, structure, and historical use of the soil can all have an impact on the future success of new plantings. While most soils will support pistachio tree growth, shallow soils, heavy clay, or light sand may limit tree size and nut yield. Pistachios tolerate slightly saline and alkaline conditions better than other nut trees. They do, however, prefer deep, well-drained, fertile soil with a neutral pH. Commercial pistachio cultivation requires a rooting depth of at least 60 centimeters. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Pistachio trees grow in the desert. They can withstand drought. They're deep-rooted trees yet they're quite vulnerable to water stagnation. Pistachio trees produce more fruit when good quality water is available most of the year through irrigation. As an example, during the growing season, pistachios require 11 to 13 megaliters of water per hectare. Following that, they require dry summers. Excessive summer rain is detrimental to the maturation of nuts. After the necessary soil has been given, the planting areas and tree lines are marked. The irrigation system is then installed. Before planting, the tree lines should be weed-free. Nursery trees are often grown in pots indoors. To avoid root agitation, the pots are carefully removed. The trees planted high enough in the planting hole, one inch lower than it was in the nursery, to allow it to settle in the soft soil. Grids of pistachio plants are planted. They should be 6 meters by 6 meters apart, 
so the pruning or weeding equipment can move freely. To produce pistachio nuts, male and female pistachio plants should be planted in a 1 to 8 ratio. Bees and wind are still the primary pollinators of pistachio flowers. After pollination, it begins to produce fruit that resembles a date. The entire fruit is red with numerous inner layers and only the kernels are edible. However, the pistachio harvest season occurs every two years, or alternate bearing, which means that the harvest is higher in alternate years. Peak production occurs after around 20 years. In the United States, harvesting machinery is frequently used to shake trees. Some countries frequently wait for it to fall naturally. Finally, harvest the most anticipated scene. They shake the trees and collect pistachios with two different pieces of equipment. Pistachios come in hoppers at the processing factory, where they're weighed before being dumped into the receiving area. The nuts are conveyed via pre-cleaners to remove any sticks and leaves. The pistachios are then transferred to hullers, where they're surface ground with water to remove their outer hulls. Pistachios with naturally opened shells that have matured on the trees are separated from pistachios with closed shells. Pistachios are sent into a hall after passing through the processing machinery, where hundreds of employees double examine the quality of the pistachios and eliminate the broken ones. Now the raw kernel processing begins in the factory. Labor picks up the good quality pistachios and places them in a machine where they're wrapped in salt and then further processed to check for and remove damaged pistachios. This procedure requires both machine and human labor. Roasted pistachios are more flavorful. When the nuts are roasted, they provide a great smell and flavor. Pistachio machines, such as the batch roaster and the single belt roaster, can produce both sweetened and salted pistachio nuts. If you're roasting unsalted nuts, brush them with oil before placing them in the machine. When producing the salted variety, you must first prepare a salty brine, mix salt with water, then transfer it to a clean spray bottle and spray it on the pistachios right before roasting. Just before roasting, add sugar, cayenne pepper, or cinnamon for a sweeter variation. The pistachio is then roasted with the sweetener sprinkled on top. Following the final processing, factory labor begins packing the pistachios and transporting them to the major destinations. Thanks for the constant support. Do let us know in the comments about your feedback.